Thank you for joining me today. We've got a great topic. So we're gonna take a look at what is the best real estate investment. So we're gonna take this from 36,000 feet, you guys. So if you're looking at this and you wanna get involved in real estate investing, this is a great place to start. My name is Mark Halsey. I'm the managing broker of Remax Results Commercial Group. We're based in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, and we are commercial investment experts. I've been at this game for a long, long time, and I've played on both sides of the fence, or all sides of the fence for that matter. So I come from an investment background, and I've owned lots of property, and I've also brokered thousands of deals and represent investors all the time. And so we've got experience from everything from the very smallest residential uh, ownership all the way through to working with very sophisticated net lease investments. So today, but what I want to do is we're going to kind of step back for a minute. We're going to step back and say, hang on, I'm not going to get super specific and we're not going to talk about net lease properties, office properties, retail, etc. Those days are coming. So we're going to have some videos that will follow where we're going to start really drilling it down in each of these product categories. But let me start with this. So I wrote a blog article, it's on our website, resultscommercial.com, and it's called, same as this title, What is the Best Real Estate Investment? So after doing this for so many years, I've come to learn a little bit about this. And the key thing to know about this is it isn't what the agent or broker's got to tell you where you should go and what you should be investing in. That's not the way it works. It starts with you. It starts with the individual investor. And so what I mean by that is that every single one of us are different when it comes to what our investing objectives are. So what you might be trying to achieve could be completely different than what I need to achieve. Maybe one investor needs to get cash flow. Another investor needs to get depreciation. Maybe somebody needs appreciation to watch their portfolio grow where somebody else is seeking something completely different. Maybe it's a legacy play and they're working on a legacy portfolio that they can move up into other assets down the road. The key thing to understand here is that there is not a best investment. There just simply isn't. If somebody can come along, and I've, I've had plenty of clients who have owned, you know, two, three, four, ten single family homes, they're paid for, they're creating a magnificent income stream that fits their lifestyle perfectly. That's dramatically different from the investor or investment group that might own two or three or four million uh, square feet of industrial property. We're talking about night and day difference. So the key thing that we're going to be looking at are things like, let's talk about who the investor is. What's their experience? What's their lifestyle like? Are they all in on this for 40 hours a week or 70 hours a week? Or do they want to be very hands off? Do they want no tenants toilets and trash, and they just want to collect checks. And of course, very important to keep in mind is what's their capital position? What kind of money do we have to work with? Against the amount of capital that we have to work with, we're trying to look to say, what can we achieve? What can we achieve through financing, through leverage? And so the key thing to understand here is don't let anybody tell you that there's one right way of getting there, because there isn't. You need to have someone who's in the business, who understands all the aspects of real estate investments and all the pros and cons. And you guys, be clear about this. There's just as many cons as there are pros in this. To play in the real estate investment game, you got to be ready. You got to be ready in every way, every way possible. And more than anything, it's a very capital intensive type investing. So it's the greatest because we can actually leverage other people's money or tenants paying down our mortgage while somebody gives us a loan. So that is fantastic. But you know, make no mistake about it. This still is, is something that many times is left to the professionals who know what they're doing. So we're going to dive in deeper in some future videos, as I mentioned, so that we can take a look at the difference between residential investing and commercial investing. And then within the world of commercial investing, should I be thinking about office, multifamily? Should I be thinking about net lease investments? So we're gonna cover all of those coming up in the future. Um, in the meantime, if you'd like to know more about who we are and what we do, certainly pay our visit to our website. That's resultscommercial.com. You can find us on social media, and I welcome you to do that too. Send us any comments you have, but we we appreciate you checking this out today. Thank you.